So I don't know if the camera will pick it up here, but uh, I might not be in love with swallows anymore because there is a red clover seed field. And look at those naughty. That's a, Dane, that's a, uh, that's a forest swallow. Those are not barn swallows, but apparently, can you, can you pick them up down there? They are just flying over and over the clover field. There's a swarm of them eating all of my pollinators for the red clover seed. Dane, what did, what, what's happening here? The swallows are eating all of our, uh... Oh, come on. You yeah. had, you had the neatest analogy. It's just like Dunkirk and the Stukas coming in and plowing them. Try and count the number of swallows there. There must be at least a hundred. They are just... I don't know if the camera is picking it. But they are just thick. They're thick. There is a video of what a little bit of care can do for a poor clay hill. We're right here next to the alfalfa. And uh, there's the oats. I think we took uh, right at 65 bushel of real good test rate oats off that poor hill. And uh, we've swathed the stubble. Uh, the reason it has that brownish cast is because, wait for it, how much rain did it get on it, Dane? <laughs> After we combined it? Probably had, I don't know, three inches of rain on it. And... Uh, the green cast of the field, that's all of the stubble clover. Boy, the stubble clover was thick, but had to mow it with the stubble clover in it. And that is the, uh, the other part of the brownish cast on the uh, oat straw there. So we came up on the hill to check the oat stubble. And uh, it's just, the view here is so beautiful on the hill there in the distance. You can see the steep baby soybean field and straight ahead over there in the valley you can see the uh, transition field and here in the foreground there is the uh, feedlot field and uh, you can see the clover blooming down there in the valley so pretty where we just were with the swallows and over there is a wheat field where we took the straw that's that light green cast and then right through that hole in the trees, right, there's my big finger, right there, you can see the 10-acre uh, weedy soybean field. Uh, you know, from a quarter mile away, it looks pretty good.